but in China, people plan their hopes for the year ahead. They believe setting them free will bring them good fortune. At HSBC, we now have a sale on to help you get your finances in order and prosper too. HSBC, the world's local bank. Really? When the job's got Crooks done, fucking shit. Working, not shopping. So, Wix is always finding new ways to help. Our catalogue is the only tool that lets you do the whole job from sight. It gives you even more choice than our biggest store. And delivery on everything from the small to the big and bulky stuff. Get your winter catalogue in store at wix.co.uk or by phone. It's got our name on it. Wix. I am Julietta, and I am such stuff as dreams are made on. Without heart, we would be mere machines. Start the day. Then afternoon tea. Everyone loves a cuppa. And so to the evening. And the only drink that makes sense. Unwind with a lovely mug of Horlicks. Now with the chance to instantly win an iPad or one of thousands of relaxing prizes. machine's making weird noises. And my clothes don't come up feeling the same. My old machine did that. Might be lime scale. You should use Calgon in every wash. A small amount of lime scale inside your machine can affect its performance. Calgon helps keep your machine working at its best. And a cleaner washing machine means you'll get better results. Now we'll both sleep better. Leading brands recommend Calgon. Washing machines live longer with Calgon. The AA are fixing the boiler. The AA? Huh? Well, let me know if they get lucky with their jump leads. They are qualified heating engineers, you know. Huh. Cheers. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Heating's fixed, Dad. Are they gone? Why? Well, how are they with zips? <laughs> AA boiler cover for eight ninety nine a month. Again, now the main story is in London and a man is being questioned on suspicion of murdering a London teenager. 17-year-old Marvin Henry was shot dead in Mill Hill in northwest London last October. A 19-year-old suspect was arrested in Nottingham yesterday. He's being questioned in East London. Three men have already been charged with murder. Londoners who have not paid their water bills have been given six weeks to come forward. Thameswater says in some cases it had not been informed of properties being divided into flats. So, some homes were using water without being charged. Anyone found doing that after March the 3rd will face a backlog of unpaid bills. The family of World War I poet Wilfred Owen are appealing for thieves to give back his military cross. The medal, which was awarded to the veteran after he died in 1918, is missing from the family home in Surrey. Phil Bales has more. The pity of war is filled. Now men will go content with what we spoiled, or discontent, or bloody and be spilled. The haunting, poignant words of probably the greatest war poet in the English language, Wilfred Owen. His words describing the horrors of the First World War trenches remain in print forever. 
but some of the most precious personal treasures of the poet have been cruelly stolen and could be lost forever. Wilfred Owen's heroism was marked by the military cross. One of his few comforts at the front were cigarettes protected by this silver case. Both have disappeared from the Surrey home of his nephew, Peter. And I went back to look for them and had this awful sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach because they weren't where I knew I had put them. Throughout, he behaved most gallantly. Those are the words of Owen's citation for the military cross. He seized an enemy machine gun and used it to kill several Germans. Its theft is a huge loss. From the front, Owen wrote these prophetic words to his mother. I know I will be killed, but it's the only place I can make my protest from. He was shot in France just a week before the war ended and is buried there. The loss of his personal possessions for those who know his work is great, but the fear is a thief may not know their value because they've never heard of him. Well, we did worry if we made too much of a hoo-ha that he'd either discard it or throw it in a ditch or something. He may have even done just that. Um, that's the worry. But if I believed in an afterlife, I would sincerely like to meet Wilfred Owen because, uh, my uncle, because he, I think he would be surprised and very pleased at the recognition that he has been given as a, as a poet. One of Owen's possessions remains a souvenir he took from the Germans. Phil Bales, London Today. Residents have lost their high court battle to block the increase of flights to and from London City Airport. Campaigners claim that Newham Council's decision to allow flights to be almost doubled was legally flawed. The two judges have rejected that. Pupils from schools in Epsom have had a swimming lesson with an Olympic gold medalist. Rebecca Adlington was the star guest at Rosebury School this morning. Her mission? To put the pupils through their paces. Our reporter Sally Rob joined them. It's the kind of reception a singer rather than a swimmer might receive. Oh, this way. But Rebecca Adlington is used to causing a splash. Just try and keep it within your shoulder line so your arms going straight back, not like coming across like that. She's here because a man who'd won a training session with her donated it to students from Epsom and Newell High School. But they don't have a pool, so they've joined up with Rosemary School, who do. These guys, obviously, these people down here can already swim, so hopefully just kind of improve their technique a bit, and who knows, could have another knee in the making. Potentially, that could be Chloe Bean, who's already fourth in Britain for her age and stroke. Well, she said I had an amazing breaststroke, and um, she helped me improve my timing on my front pool. Just now? Yes, now. Oh, really? So you've just done a PB? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At a time when the future of the Olympic Stadium hangs in the balance, Olympic swimmers like Rebecca are hoping the Aquatic Centre won't. Are you a bit nervous that it could go? Um, I'd like to say it's not going to go. I hope it doesn't, but I guess it's not up to me. It's out of my control. I just hope that it does kind of stay and we can have future competitions there. Future competitions that won't just include Rebecca, but others she's inspired here too. Sally Rourke, London Today, Epsom. Now, Robin's weather.